Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be jumping into my config and all the different settings I have because I get asked all the time in all my videos, you know, what sense I have, what video settings I have, what my config says. So this video is going to clear all of that up and let's jump right into it. And just starting off, I'm, I'm leaving a settings GG page um, in the description. Uh, I'm going to leave the link. It just has my entire config and this is probably going to be the same config I have for a long time. I don't change things often, so if you want to test out what I have, you can just head over to that link that I'm leaving in the description, click on the config, and then you can test it out yourself. And so the first part of my settings we're going to talk about is my view model. Um, I actually think it's pretty standard um, if we check, yeah, just an FOV, a default 68, X 2.5, Y 1, Z negative 1.5. Um, some people think it's a little different because it looks like my gun is more to the right side of the screen. Um, and I, the reason I think that is is because I play 4-3 stretch, and so I think a normal default view model is actually going to be pushed to the right uh, compared to 16-9. And so that's why I think it might look different, but I'm pretty sure this is just a standard um, view model I have. And then for the view model uh, movement settings, so the CL underscore Bob stuff, I'm pretty sure I have my stuff as low as possible. Um, I don't like my gun on my screen dancing around and jumping up and down. Uh, I like it pretty consistent. I just want to focus on the target in front of me. And so a lower setting on all the bob settings will do that for me. It doesn't move a lot, as you can see. Um, it's pretty consistent, and it's something I'm comfortable with. And now moving to the HUD settings and the radar settings at the same time. Um, there's a lot of commands here, but basically the gist of it is... I'm trying to minimize distractions on my screen, uh, so instead of five player pictures at the bottom, I prefer to go with uh, just numbers. Um, instead of a zoomed in radar at the top left, I, I like it zoomed out so I don't find myself staring at my radar a lot. Uh, I just want to see it if I need to rotate, where I can rotate, where the enemy can be, but it's not for close range stuff. And um, also the HUD numbers are at the bottom of the screen because it's easier to look down than it is to look up in my opinion. Um, the color is neutral. It's just about not having distractions on your screen um, so you can best stay focused in the game while you're playing. And then moving on to my mouse and sensitivity, I use a Divina S2 um, by Zowie. It's a mouse I find really comfortable. It has a nice shape. Um, and my sensitivity is 1.05 at 800 DPI. Um, and this is really personal. I find it super comfortable. I have full range of motion. I can swing around. I can readjust quickly. It's just what I've been playing with for a long time, and I feel comfortable. Um, but it is personal, and everybody has a different setting uh, for a reason. So find what you uh, find comfortable, uh, and then stick to that, in my opinion. Um, but anyhow, that is what I use for my sensitivity. And then moving on to video settings, um, this is pretty standard stuff. Uh, if you want to try it out, feel free. Um, the point is to basically just raise your FPS as much as possible. Um, I don't know what every single one of these commands does, um, but altogether I know it's just to raise your FPS. Uh, I, I didn't hand select these, I just copied, I think it was 10s at one point in time. Um, and yeah, so I just try to maximize my FPS, it works for me. Uh, if you want to try it, feel free, hope it works for you as well. The last thing we're going to go over for the config are my keybinds, and I generally have normal stuff. Um, but I do have a couple things added that I use all the time, which I'm going to go over. And the first one is the clear decal button. Um, so as you know, if you play CSGO, like if you throw a molly, the ground becomes darker. If you throw a grenade, the same thing happens. And if you shoot someone, there's blood on the wall, right? And all this creates a bunch of stuff and nonsense that you don't need to see on your screen, right? It lowers FPS. It makes it harder to see people. It's just not great. So what I do is I press a clear decal button, which is caps lock for me, and when I press it, you'll notice everything goes away, your FPS comes back, people are easier to see, and I find it super helpful, I find it super important, I click it almost every single round, um, so for me the clear decal button is huge. And the other set of keybinds I have, which are really important for competitive play, especially if you're on a team, are my nade binds. Um, you know, if you're on a team and you need to throw utility, it's really, really bad if you're pressing 4, 4, 4, 4 to find, you know, a molly, for example, right? Um, whereas you can just have a keybind, like, I want a molly, I press V. I want a flashbang, I press X. I want my smoke, I press Z, or my nade, you know, C, right? That's what I have. It works for me. Um, just find something you're comfortable with uh, if you do want to do these nade binds. Um, because, like I said, 
pressing 4 over and over again or scrolling like some people do is just really bad. Um, so you're going to want to have a nice set of keybinds for your nades. Now the last keybind I have is a quick switch keybind, um, which is mainly for oppers. Um, as you guys know, you know when an opper shoots and kills someone, um, their op is automatically going to rescope. But sometimes that's not a good thing because you want to move, you want to be mobile, you want to run around, right? So what oppers do is they kill someone, they press three and they press one, right? Like really quickly, and then they can run around and do whatever. Um, so instead of pressing three and one, I just press Q and Q for me will switch to my knife and switch back to whatever gun I had. So if it's a deagle, switch like that. If it's an op, press Q and it's just like that. Um, all it does is cut down on one button you have to press, uh, makes it maybe a little bit faster. It's not a big deal, um, but I find it helpful. And for the final part of the video, we're going to be going over the NVIDIA settings, uh, which I don't really understand. I, I just copy other people's settings. I don't know what they do. Um, and to start off, we're just going to be looking at the 3D settings, which I think is important. Um, all this stuff here, if you want to try it out, feel free. I think it just maximizes performance, which is what I care about. Um, but just like the video settings in game, I don't really know what each individual one does. It's just for performance. Um, the other important one are the color settings. Uh, the only thing I change here is I max out the digital vibrance to make the game a little more colorful. Um, but even with that being said, if you guys you know watch my other videos, you'll notice how colorful my game looks. Um, most of that is added later by um, video editing. Uh, it's really not that colorful when I play the game. I just kind of bump it up again when I edit the video because I think it looks better. Um, but the only thing I do is I max out the digital vibrance. Uh, so that's what I see. And then the last one is just to show that it's on 4.3 stretch. Um, you tick this little override button um, on full screen with your GPU, and it's just gonna stretch your screen if you play 4.3, um, which is what I do, which is what I like. Um, and that's that. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, if you do try my settings, I hope you find the settings helpful. Um, I won't be changing them anytime soon. I like them, I enjoy them. And with that being said, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you guys have a good one.